Hello everyone, Killer Shrew fan here, and I hope you are all doing well. Now, I do want to apologize for any shoddy audio in this video. I am away from my usual recording equipment, so I'm just kind of talking right into my phone, but I did want to go ahead and make a video because Mattel has just released three images for new and upcoming battle damaged dinosaurs that will be hitting shelves hopefully soon. Now the Mattel battle damage line is kind of in a weird place right now. The new figures that were supposed to be on the shelves earlier this year with the new Dino Rivals stuff, you know, they haven't hit yet. And, you know, maybe that's just because the older stuff took a while to become widespread, like the Pteranodon and the Velociraptor. Those took a while to be dispersed across every Walmart, you know? I mean, they've only just started to become commonplace, I feel like. And so maybe Mattel's just kind of playing catch-up, trying to clear out some of the old stock. But, yeah, the, the battle damage line is kind of an enigma at this point. It's kind of, I'm kind of wondering when we're gonna start seeing this new stuff and it makes me wonder why Mattel is releasing images for stuff that's up and coming when they haven't even given us stuff that has been promised to us prior but all of that aside I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the new figures we have got three of them unfortunately they are all repaints no new sculpts but I think they are worth talking about. So starting us off here, we have got a repaint of the Herrerasaurus. Now, I do think this one is probably a skip for me. Not that it's bad, it's not a horrible palette or anything, and it actually looks quite decent in the box. Unfortunately, it's just a little too similar to the previous battle damaged one to constitute me wanting to get this one as well. It feels like it's just kind of the older version on a darker scale, if that makes sense. It's, the patterning is very similar. The colors, it's just a dark, it feels like a darker green. You've gone from like a lime green to a more gray green, and then this sort of tannish brown stripes remain, only they're darker on this one. Of course, we're rocking the new Dino Dam, or excuse me, the new Dino Rivals box art. But beyond that, this one really isn't anything too new, so it's probably going to be a skip for me. Next up, we have got a repaint yet again of the Monolophosaurus. This one is definitely a good one in my opinion. I think out of all the Monolophosaurus paint schemes that we have gotten, this one is certainly my favorite. Now, the Monolophosaurus originally came to us as a battle damage figure back in the 2018 lineup with a battle damaged extreme chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex thrown in for good measure. And that one was done in kind of a green color palette with a light green base and then dark green stripes and then of course we got the savage strike which had a much warmer palette with orange base red stripes that sort of thing and then we've got this one which kind of walks the line of a cool and warm palette and i think it looks pretty darn good in my opinion i can't say for sure if the color like the the markings and everything is similar to the what we've previously gotten as i don't have them here in front of me but the palette is enough for this one to be very passable in my eyes. I like the, the blue, the cool color base tone, and then the warmer purple striping going on. And I think it contrasts with the box art quite nicely. So this one is definitely appealing to me. We'll see how it comes through in the final product once it hits shelves. But yes, uh, even though we have seen this figure three times, I do think this is definitely one that you could still pick up if you have the means to, because it is an appealing figure in my eyes. And finally, we've got the Pro Ceratosaurus Battle Damage variant. This one is pretty good as well. I will say it looks better in the box than in its official images. Uh, I think the color's been kind of uh, cooled down actually like it's a lot more red in these like promo images but in the box you can see it's less red and more purple maroon colorations which I think is a nice touch and also this is the only pro ceratosaurus we've gotten so far that has the distinctive nose horn that is painted in a totally different color from the rest of the body we got the original well excuse me no the original had the red paint I forget that but even then like it didn't stand out against the dark colors of the body because it was a dark red here we got this nice bold white coloration which contrasts beautifully with the rest of the sculpture and is a great area of pop it really draws my eye and it gives this thing a lot of life and as always with the new battle damage 
uh, how do I want to say, the upgrade, the figure itself gets a little more articulation than the attack pack offering. So right off the right out of the gate, you know this figure is a step above its attack pack cousin. And because of that, I think it does constitute being picked up as its own thing. The color scheme is simple yet effective. I like the stripes, the, 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 the sort of rusty stripes contrasting with the dark purple head there. And as I said before, the white crest or horn is a nice touch. So yes, this one is also quite good in my eyes. So there you have it, folks. We've got three new battle damage dinosaurs from Mattel. If I had to say buy, skip, buy on all of these, I would say buy the Monolophosaurus, buy the Proceratosaurus, skip the Herrerasaurus. And that's kind of hard for me to say, seeing as the Herrerasaurus is one of my favorite attack packs. But that's gonna, that's all, that's all I have to say, guys. As always, I want to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. Let me know which of the, which of the three is your favorite of the new battle damage dinosaurs what you are most looking forward to in the coming months from Mattel. Leave all of your thoughts down in the comment section, and as always, if you enjoyed our little discussion here today, don't be afraid to let us know by hitting that like button, and don't forget to subscribe on the way out. Thanks again for tuning in, and that's going to do it for us today. Killer Shrew fan, out.